Hey guys, so I was just in the middle of editing some other Scientology related footage for you guys when I got tagged in Facebook in a post which was a blog and I'm not going to say their name because I don't want to give them any form of attention or clicks or publicity but it's a Scientology hate blog and this Scientology hate blog just made their second post about me. They feature a lot of other ex members such as me, Karen De La Carriere, Jeffrey Augustine, Rod Keller, and there's a whole list of others who they also feature such as Chris Shelton, and the list goes on of some other ex-members. So I guess I'm in good company if anything, but really they just keep spreading lies about all of us, and it's really ridiculous that they even made this post about me. So they made a post about me actually back in December. I'm um, saying Stephen Mango on Disconnection. So in that post, this OSA person, which is the Office of Special Affairs, which is Scientology, they made a post saying that, um, you know, Stephen Mango goes to great lengths to say that, you know, um, Scientology fair games him and others and tries to speak out on like the disconnection policy, but then he blocked us. I blocked the blog from tweeting at me on my, also on my Facebook and Instagram. I try to block them across all different social media platforms because I don't want to see um, the Scientology propaganda hate pieces that they do on other ex-members. We all know it's all bullshit and no one wants to see that. So I blocked them. So they were saying that, you know, I disconnected from them. It's like, yeah, of course I disconnected from you. You're spewing hate on not only just me, but other people that I'm also friends with. So that was ridiculous. But then the post that they made about today was saying, um, and the winner of the biggest attention horror goes to Stephen Mango. And um, that was the title of the post. And they did this horrible Photoshop job. I actually... Well, I'll get to why I was there, but I attended the Grammy Awards um, a couple nights ago. And there was a picture of me on the red carpet, and behind me was a photo of the Grammy. So they edited the photo of the Grammy with a picture of me in a blonde wig from a comedy video I did on my other YouTube channel. Like, this horrible Photoshop job. Now, you think that Scientology, who is known to Photoshop crowds at different events. And Scientology also, they're just big on Photoshopping. And they've Photoshopped people out of photos with L. Ron Hubbard for their encyclopedia. So they're known to Photoshop um, and do things at great lengths to make things appear differently, right? But you could see like the line like around like my head, like it looked like they did it on like Microsoft Paint or something. So they edited the background of me standing in front of a picture of me in a blonde wig, essentially. So they were saying that, you know, Stephen Mango goes to great lengths on, you know, trying to be, like, relevant and making, like, controversial videos such as how to be a sugar baby and breaking into gay porn. And so then you guys must be wondering, like, what are these videos that the blog is referring to? I have another YouTube channel, which I will link below. I am doing vlogs, I'm doing story time videos. It's basically me as my alter ego. It's not really me. Some of these stories are just monologues and just me just having fun, just being silly and creative and comedic. So that's what those videos are about, having fun making videos with my camera. So that's all those videos really are. Oh, so then they were trying to imply that because I was raising money before to fix my vlogging camera, which I'm talking to you guys on. Thank you for everyone who helped me fix that camera. But they were saying like, oh, Stephen Ming was asking for money to fix his vlogging camera, and now he's trying to be this like Hollywood celebrity, or he's trying to, um, you know, now all of a sudden Stephen Mango's trying to act like he's a Hollywood star and he's at the Grammys and going on trips and all this sort of stuff. And it's total BS. Now, my friend works in the music industry. So she got two tickets from her work for the Grammy Awards. 
So what did I do? I went to the Grammy Awards with my friend. She invited me, so I went. I live in LA already. It's not like I flew across the country to go or something like that. It was 15 minutes away from my house. We took like a lift line, like not even like the fancy lift, it's like the group lift, to go to the Staples Center to go to the Grammys. And I wasn't even on the fancy red carpet. Let's say that, like there's two red carpets, one for the celebrities and one for like their VIPs or something like that. So I walked like the red carpet alongside like the Ryan Seacrest, Juliana Rancic, E! News. Like I was on like the one in the corner. Like I wasn't on like the fancy red carpet or anything like that. So I'm actually gonna make a vlog about that. So if you guys wanna see like my experience at the Grammys, just go down to my channel below and click subscribe and you guys will get updated on my fun vlog of me at the Grammy Awards. But that's really a whole separate thing. I just don't understand why Scientology OSA, their spy department, has any interest in what I do in my personal time. Like, I'm not seeking all this attention. I'm not this big fame whore. I'm a hairdresser. I'm not even actively pursuing my acting career. So I just don't understand why Scientology is trying to call me a fame whore. And they are messing with the wrong person. You guys know that if Scientology does anything to me or they say anything about me, I'm gonna put their shit on blast, whether it's on my YouTube channel here, whether it's on mangotology.com, whether I go to the press. I just shot an episode of a reality television show debunking um, some different things about Scientology that's on a big network. Um, my Scientology movie is going to be in theaters on March 10th in the United States. It's also going to be on Amazon Video. It's going to be on iTunes. It's going to be on demand. So you guys are going to be able to look out for me in that movie as well. And not just me, but all the others who participated, who told their stories, and who are continuing to speak out. I'm just talking from my experience right now because I can only speak for myself. And Scientology wants to try to... Um, screw around with me now and make these blog posts, well, they don't know. I can just hire an attorney. Hmm. Not going to say anything more past that, but there are attorneys that deal with internet um, slander, defamation of character, and that sort of thing, and they can track down people's IP addresses and find out who's really the keyboard ninja. Hashtag keyboard ninja if you're on Twitter and you write to me. <laughs> Hashtag keyboard ninja and I know that you saw this video. But really though, you know, they're these little keyboard ninjas in OSA that try to write blogs about people and they don't realize, like, we can actually find out who's behind those blogs. But it's just ridiculous. I mean, nonetheless, you guys have to think of it this way. No one's taking the word of Scientology as, like, you know, bowing down to some blog that's anonymous, right? So, I mean, I'm very vocal. I have my name on it. Why can't they put their name on it? You know what I'm saying? We all know it's a Scientology hate blog. All the other people they write about are ex-members of Scientology. So it's just ridiculous. I'm not going to give them any more attention past this video, but I just wanted to bring up a very important point. Speak out and speak out loud and proud. You know, if you have your story, don't worry if Scientology is going to put up a hate website or whatever about you. No one reads it, number one. Number two, what religious group or spiritual activity or anything spiritual, religious, holy that lifts you on up and is supposed to be there for you, what type of group puts up hate blogs about their ex-members or makes videos or does fair gaming activities where they come after their critics? What group actually does that? Let's think about it. Hmm. No real religious group. If you decide not to be in the Catholic Church, for example, they'll say, you know, when you are ready for the Word of God or you're ready to, you know, come back to the church, we welcome you with open arms. Even if you speak out, it's just like, we'll pray for you. It's not necessarily like, we are going to attack him. We are going to, you know, go after him. And we're going to slander him and release all his pre-clear folders of all the data and his personal secrets that he exposed to us. That's not what a real religious group does. Let's just think about that and marinate on that for a second. No one, no real religion does that to their ex-members. So if you're having trouble deciphering, like, is Scientology... A religion or is it a business? Let's look at what a religious organization does. They help people. They do charity work. They do other things. I'm not talking about volunteer ministers handing out Scientology propaganda books. You know, three of them maybe are doing a touch assist or something. That's not helping with an order of magnitude. They have $3 billion. They can use that $3 billion to do 
a worldwide amount of great things for our planet if they were really looking to make a difference. But really it's in David Miscavige's pocket. I know I'm going off on a little bit of a different pathway right now than what this video started off as about the hate blog, but I guess it is relevant. You know, you have to actually look and say, is this really a group that's doing things to help mankind or is this group um, actually doing things that are detrimental and are harming others or talking bad about others and you know it's not a wholly religious organization so Scientology if you're watching this if you're watching this from the blog that wrote about me let's look at this hey if I am an attention whore let's just say I am why are you writing a blog post about me and giving me attention if you're saying that's what I want like you guys shoot yourself in the foot <laughs> it's so ridiculous and B, clearly I was protesting disconnection all summer. I'm not for disconnection. I don't disconnect from others. I, I just don't disconnect from people. I don't disconnect from others, right? So because I blocked you on Twitter and I block people on Facebook, Twitter, YouTube comments, if you're, if you're going to attack me because I'm living my life and I don't have time for dealing with haters. So I just get rid of them, you know, and you guys were haters. So clearly... That's why I disconnected from you. Let's just debunk the rumors of this blog about me. And, you know, you guys just really have messed with the wrong person. And I have loads of people supporting me. I know that you guys on YouTube and my social media friends and fans and Scientology watchers and everyone else, you guys are the best. You guys have stuck by me. Um, as I continue to speak out against this deadly criminal organization, I don't want to give these guys any more attention about this blog right now. You guys are the best. You guys have always stood by me and you guys have always encouraged me to continue telling my story because you guys write to me and tell me yours and tell me on how, um, you know, when I get your emails and your messages and I hear from you guys about how I've inspired you to leave the Church of Scientology or to speak out or that I've given you some sort of knowledge or hope or courage, you know, that feeds me to continue doing what I'm doing right now. So, you know, I don't want others to take this video as like, oh, I feel like I'm the victim of it or anything. Like, I laugh about it. It's a, it's silly, you know, it's ridiculous. Like, yeah, like on one sense, it's kind of like, oh, like, you know, they're putting these stupid false blog posts about me, but no one reads them. No one gives any attention to these blogs that Scientology posts, whether it's about Leah Remini, Mike Rinder, Marty Rathbun, me, Karen De La Carrier. You know, now that I see like the blog posts about me and the lies they spread about me, it makes it easier to kind of move on and heal because a lot of the times I was, you know, in the church and I would read some of these different things that they put out against their ex-members or others and be like, wow, like they really must be these evil people. Like Scientology really is, you know, the greatest thing. And then when you really look at it, it's like no religion does this, A. And B, once I do it about you and you see it's all false, it just makes you know with certainty that Scientology really is just a crazy cult. So I just want to let you guys know that I do have a ton more videos coming for you. I've been filming footage. I haven't had time to really edit a lot of things lately, but I have been continuously filming. I do have more videos and more different things that are exposing regarding Scientology coming on my channel. So if you haven't already, please click subscribe below and turn on your notification. It looks like a little bell. Click the notification bell. And then you guys will get emails and notifications when I actually post a new video. If you want to see some more fun videos, also go down in the description box and I will post a link to my other YouTube channel where I'll be doing um, videos that don't pertain to Scientology whistleblowing, I guess we can put it. I just wanted to make this little video first because this blog just came out today, so I had to make a little video right now for you guys, but um, look out for more things coming in the next couple weeks. My Scientology movie's coming for you March 10th, and also um, the TV show that I just filmed, a reality show that I'm making an appearance on, is coming out around April, May, so I'll keep you guys posted on when I'll be on TV um, national television and you guys will see me exposing Scientology again. So um, thanks so much for watching guys.